From the Chibuku uh, deposits and busy valley Zimbabwe, we have the Shangon quartz. Now, what's what's hidden under this cutting of maybe a very thin layer of uh, Charles Sydney would be an explosion of I'd expect to find smoky and amethyst intermingled, which is quite typical to this deposit. So there you have the little gem faces of the crystals before they've been coated by this blanket of uh, Krauser color, which, which I find appealing in that there's underlying patterning to the formation of the Krauser color. Uh, from a, I think this may very well be a floater. Let's have a look there. I'm not sure. If I do mention float, it would have formed that is. This may have been a stem. So this may, uh, technically speaking, be a scepter. If we look at it like this, so you've got the thin base over there going across into the main face. But uh, uh, these Zambezi quartzes are actually uh, conversation pieces on crystallography because there are so many aspects. You usually have a bit of an elestial mixed with a scepter, mixed with this and that and that. Uh, a whole combination of different quartz crystal forms in one. And then once you look into these guys, you, you, you often find phantoming color explosion, explosions. Um, the, the smoky usually makes patterns, whereas the, the amethyst would be more distributed. Now let's have a look here. Let's see if I can give you a bit of color here. Of course, with strong backlighting, there you can see almost a little phantom smoky and uh, amethyst intertwined.